Hello everyone, and Helen here with Helen Loves to Create, bringing to you a project share. I'm going to show you everything that I used, and then I'll show you the projects. So um, I'm cre creating ATCs to go out to a couple of YouTube friends here, and um, these here are the markers I used. The Wonder and Wise brush pens. These are from, I picked them up at Ross, and there's a whole bunch of different colors in there. Um, and then these, I also use gel pens, and these are from uh, Walmart and from Amazon. So I have glitter and solid colors, and I'm just showing you some of them. Um, then I used the Close to My Heart. Um, I guess it's called Batch Deck. I'm not sure. I think that's what it's called. And then this one here is uh, Ponderosa Pine. I used some of this one. I also used this Memento. Um, and then, of course, I just used um, regular Archival Ink Ranger. Then I also used the Prismacolor coloring pencils. And then um, I also have just um, the, um, my, the fine touch ones. And so I use those too as well. Um, I also use these from Dollar Tree. They're little paint pens. So I use these. Um, as well I'm just putting everything back as I show you what it is because that way I keep everything in order um, I also used these little punches that I picked up from a little thrift from a little um, oh what is it called um, creative reuse store and I got these three um, I, there was the half orange but I was like that's just a half circle I didn't realize it was a set um, they were $2 each. And I believe these are Stampin' Up. So I was able to get these. So I had them in my stash and I finally used them. Then here um, is from, I got it for 50 cents, Embellishment Bling from Recollections. And I just used some flowers off of these. And then stamp wise, I used my pear stamps and strawberry stamp from here. And then I also used. Um, the and this is from I got this from uh, off of Amazon but I think you can probably find it um, vintage fruit um, anywhere else I'm sure um, I'm not hundred percent sure but I got it off of Amazon and then this one here I got it from um, Victoria I bought it from a D stash she had but I believe this is BB crafts if you're interested in it I used the little squirrel and the little rabbit here because they're spring little animals okay all right <laughs> now here's my projects okay so first um, for May is animals and so I created these two and then this one here um, that is what I created. I hope you can see that. Hopefully that's nice and pretty. I just I absolutely love how I made that. And then this one here as well. I actually drew this tree and doodled it. Um, I've been watching, well I've doodled all my life since I was young but I've never actually like did a whole page or a picture kind of thing. And so I chose um, to learn a little bit more and I've been watching Sabrina um, Sabrina's crafty journey and she's been showing how to doodle all those these were some of my own d designs on here but she is um, showing somehow somehow to do some of them and I just do I did use this one for the wood um, the trunk here but I created this one here I just absolutely love that tree it's so beautiful to me all right so those are the first two and then um, for June, it is fruit. And I ju I'm just going to go ahead and send in both of them. So here is the strawberry one that I did. And then you can see where I used 
the little beady strawberry punches there and then I just did the strawberry three times the, the stamp three times like that that's the strawberry one you can see the uh, shimmer from the gel pens and then this one is the pears and I just did it stamped it twice and then I fussy cut this one to layer it on top of it absolutely love how this one looks as well just screams vintage fruit to me so pretty and then on the back I did include a uh, little extra cutouts of the punches that I did on there as well so I hope that you like it and um, please give me a comment tell me which one you like the most um, again I had so much fun creating these and um, if you have any questions leave them down below um, thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe and remember that I love you but Jesus loves you more bye